Real estate agents are self-employed individuals who can help you buy and sell real estate. Their knowledge and expertise is critical when it comes to getting you where you want to be in the most efficient way possible. But everyone has heard a horror story about real estate agents, so how do you find one that's actually good? And how do you know what to look for? My name is Phil Wells, I'm a real estate agent here in Spokane. I love working with people and guiding them through their move, whether they're buying, selling, or both. Okay, let's get into it. The way I see it, there are two ways to connect with an agent. You can look for the home first or look for the agent first. So you're a buyer looking for properties on websites like Zillow, Realtor.com, and Redfin. You then tell the website that you want to do something like schedule a tour or you want more information. Usually you fill out a contact form or the website already has your details from when you signed up. You then become a lead and this lead is broadcast to several different agents. Usually the first one to claim it or to call you wins the lead. That website will then charge that agent for the lead. Many agents also use Facebook to generate leads. They may advertise homes for sale on places like Facebook Marketplace, and once you express an interest, Facebook will then pass your details onto them, and they will give you a call. You may also wish to reach out to the agent selling the home and ask them to view their listing. This can be an awkward situation because that agent is already representing the seller, so they can't really advise you that much. So what if you just want to find a great agent first and not hope that a good one calls you, or you're a seller and you just want to connect with a good agent to get your home sold fast? The first and best thing to do is to ask your friends and family if they had a good experience with a realtor and whether they can recommend one to you. Alternatively, you may wish to look on places like social media for an agent. Instagram and Facebook are awash with realtor profiles, so you can go on there, look at what they're like, and decide whether you want to work with one. Be wary here though, it's easy to portray your best self on social media. So try find someone that provides valuable insight on social media and educates, not just someone that posts pictures of kitchens with the hashtag kitchen goals. Alternatively, you may wish to use Google to find agent websites, or you may wish to look for an agent that's putting out valuable information on the market that you're looking in. I fall into this final category here. I do YouTube videos on Spokane and the local real estate market. By putting out content and providing value, my aim is to demonstrate that I'm a local expert, and also you can figure out from these videos whether you'd enjoy working with me or not. It's worth remembering as well that agents and their brokerages are pretty detached these days. So, it's not really worth calling a brokerage front desk and asking for an agent that way. This might have worked in the 90s, but it's really not gonna cut it anymore. So you found a handful of agents or you found that one agent that really stands out, but what should you look for in an agent? Experience is obviously a key thing to look for in an agent, but don't just look for years in service. An agent may have 20 years in the industry, but can they split down PDFs and get digital signatures? Are they wanting to fax you documents and have you sign documents in person? Some of the best agents I know and ones that have mentored me personally have been in the industry only a handful of years. You may wish to see if they've got life experience outside of real estate as well. Maybe they were a teacher before and are great at explaining things. Maybe they were in customer service and are really, really energetic and bubbly. Maybe they were a drill sergeant before and don't take BS from anybody. Or maybe they were a real estate attorney and no contracts inside and out. For example, I've been in real estate about two years now at this point. Before real estate, I worked in media law back in the UK. I also worked in financial management for a brief period too. I'm also an engineer in the US Army Reserves, so I know a little bit about construction too. Another thing to look for in an agent, how do they work and are you two compatible? Are you someone that likes to spend hours talking on the phone or are you a texter that just likes to get things done? It's important to match personality types here. The way that I work is I like to meet with people initially, either in person or over the phone, just to talk to them and get to know them. This really isn't to discuss real estate. Real estate is usually the second or third thing we'll actually discuss. It's more just to get to know each other and see if we'd work well together. After that, I like to get very factual, usually by text or email to find out exactly what you're looking for in terms of real estate. Throughout a transaction, I usually only call my clients if something is time critical or whether there's a range of options and calling is just a better option. But I always make myself available to take clients' phone calls to answer their questions if they have any throughout a transaction. Next thing to look for, are they professional? Are they ooming and ahhing a lot? Are they asking for key documents in disjointed ways leading you to the impression that they just really don't know what they're doing? Or are they confident? Do they clearly have a process? Okay, Mr. Seller, in order to move forward, I need these documents from you. I need you to complete this form. I need a spare set of keys and I need a schedule for when showings can start to happen. Another thing to look for, do they set off your BS alert? Agents are excellent salespeople and they don't sell houses. What do they sell? They're in the business of pitching themselves to you. So ask them questions about the process. What would they do in situation X, Y, or Z? If they give you the creeps or they're telling you unrealistic things, they're probably BSing you and you should trust your gut on this one. The best agents out there will tell you if they don't know something. For example, I haven't been in Spokane too long and I know the area pretty well, but there are some areas that I still don't know that well. So if a client asks me, what's this area like? I'll tell them that I don't know. 
I will then get in my car, drive to the area, look at recently solds in the area, look at what the schools are like and a range of other things, and then report back to my client with what I think about the area. But I will never tell my client something that I know not to be true, but just sounds good. Okay, so that's what you should look for in an agent. One thing I hear quite often is, can I work with multiple agents? The short answer to this is yes, but you really shouldn't, and here's why. I don't make my buyers sign a buyer representation agreement up front. I think it's weird, and given that the agreement can be terminated at any time by just a text, I don't think it's really worthwhile. I will work exceptionally hard for my clients, and I do expect a certain amount of loyalty in return. Realtors all speak to each other on some level, and a client that's bouncing around between different agents is likely to get a reputation and no one's going to want to work with them. Having said that, when it comes to selling a property, I do ask that my clients sign an exclusive listing agreement with me. The reason for this is that listings involve me spending money on things like photography, staging, home signs, and things like that. That's it for this video. Remember, agents are everywhere. You can find them on Facebook, Instagram, Zillow, Google, and even right here on YouTube. I encourage you above all to find someone that you actually like and would enjoy working with. Like I said, my name is Phil Wells. If you or anybody you know is looking at buying or selling real estate in Spokane, then please get in contact with me, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, and I'd be honored to work with you. Until the next one, thanks for watching.